Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today I would like to show you a quick and easy way to make custom parts in Fritzine. Now if you're watching this video I'm sure you've used Fritzine so you know there is a parts editor for this and it is extremely complicated and basically just a pain in the ass everything that you have to do just to make a custom part. Now I was playing around on here the other day and I stumbled across something that works really good and can be used to make a real easy and quick custom part for almost anything that is not in their database. No, their database is extensive, but um, there's no program that's going to have every electronics component in the world in it. And there's new stuff coming out every day that hasn't been updated and put into Fritzing yet. So I found a simple way to do it, and um, for this example, oh, let me drag it over here. We're going to do a custom part for an RFID card reader. Now, this is an RC522, and in the Fritzine catalog here, they don't have these. There was some that was kind of similar, but then the pinouts were all different, and I just did not like how any of them looked. Um, before I found this trick, what I would do is find something that was similar, do all the circuit and connections, and then I'd go over to a photo editing program I have, and I would change the names and the pen numbers and stuff. And that was just a hassle. What I'm going to show you right here is super easy. It works great, and it looks good, too, in the schematic. So what you do is you go over to your core, and um, you scroll down, and you see ICs here. Well, they have a blank IC here. Drag one of these over. And we'll zoom in on it. Now, you're saying, well, that's an IC chip. That don't line up and look anything like the RFID card reader that I just had the picture up there of. Well, there are a ton of ways to change this. I'll show you here. First of all, we go over and make sure you select it on it. Go down and go here to Package. Click on that. Now, I found for doing these, and you could also use this for like an HC06, which also they do not have that in their catalog, or anything that has a pinout, and it's a single row pinout now. There's eight pins. That looks just like the connector on your board, doesn't it? On that RFID board. Now, you're looking like, well, it still says I see. Well, guess what? You just highlight that right there, hit delete, hit enter, gone. Next, well, it still says I see one here. Double left click. Well, this is going to now be an RC522, which is what it is. And you could put anything you want there. Then I'm going to left click and hold down. And just position it wherever I want it. You can put it on top, below, next to it. You can put it half a mile across the screen if you wanted. But we'll put that right there. Now next, you're looking. Well, now the pens are just numbered. <laughs> Guess what? We can change that in here too. So you go down and right here, edit pen labels. Click on that. Look at this. So on here, pen 1 on the RC522 RFID card reader is SDA. Pin 2 is SCK. Pin 3 is MOSI. Pin 4 is MISO. Pin 5, I think I just said pin 5 up there, excuse me, I'm at pin 4. Pin 5 is I-R-O. Pin 6 is ground. G-N-D. Pin 7 is reset, so that's R-S-T. And you could put longer names in here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how many characters you can do, but there should be enough room to put anything you want in here. I'm sure if you get it longer, it'll just stretch this over. 
And then the final 8 pin is 3.3 volts. Now, once you get all your pins in there, just hit save. Look at that. Now, of course, the IC thing came up again. I find that happens when you do that, but you can get rid of that. Let's go to the chip label. Just put anything in, hit enter, then highlight it, hit delete, hit enter, and it disappears. If you just try clicking on it when it because it'll still be empty down there and then hit delete and enter it'll still have the IC just put something in then delete that and then from there it'll stay like this but when you edit the pin the pin number names that'll come up so look at how simple that is now in the schematic that looks great I mean everybody reading the schematic is going to know what this is and it's got all your labels and the pins are in order just like they were on the board now let's say, um, we'll try something else here, we'll delete that. Let's say you're using a logic level converter, which is something you'd actually have to use with that board because that's a 3.3 volt board, and if you were using it with an Arduino, which is 5, you would need to do a logic level converter. Now a logic level converter is actually set up in about the size and the pinout, it looks just like a chip like this. Now if you were using a... Uh, Two channel, this is what it'd look like. You know, you'd have VCC ground on the high, VCC ground low, and then you'd have your high ins and your high outs. Um, the logic level converter you'd be using with that RFID card reader, though, is um, a 20 pin. It's an 8 channel. So, what you do is you just go down. We got to go down here. Let's see, where is that? The SO, yeah, SO20, right there. There, that's the same pinout, looks just like the logic level converter, and then you just do the same thing. You just double left click here, change the name, you're done. Well, I hope you found this information useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, consider subscribing. We do lots of videos. So thanks for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. Have a great day, and have fun building.